Hey YouTube friends, this is CC Cartwheel BSG coming at you with my week 11 update. So let's see, my surgery was June 23rd, 2015 at Stanford Valley Care Medical Center. I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, my doctor was Dr. Maria Stockery, who's an excellent surgeon and my high weight was 266.1 my surgery weight was 256 my week uh my weigh in last week was 223.6 and this week is 222.7 for a loss of 0.9 pounds which just happened last night because i told you all that i weigh myself every day and yesterday um well, let me just finish. So that is a 43.4 pound loss total and from surgery, 33.4 pounds. So, um, so yesterday I was kind of having a little bit of a pity party, not a pity party for myself. I was actually pretty pissed off. I mean, let's just call it what it is. I was angry. So my husband could tell I was in a mood and he asked me what was wrong and I told him that I hadn't lost any weight. In fact, I think I was like 0.2 pounds up yesterday for the week. Um, and being the sweet man that my husband is, he wanted to fix it for me. And he said, what are you talking about? You said low and slow, the turtle wins and you don't want to have loose skin and what are you complaining about? It's going to come off when it comes off. And he kind of fed me back everything I say to him, which was a good thing. Um, cause it did, it did diffuse me and it did, you know, get me off of my soapbox of being angry. And I decided to let it go for that moment. And I went into, um, the, into our bedroom to get dressed because we went to go see our team yesterday, our beloved Oakland Athletics, who are having one of the worst seasons ever, but that doesn't matter and we go and support them. So I went into the bedroom to get ready to go to the game and open up a drawer full of pants. Now, let me preface this by my theory, and my overall theory is that yoga pants make you fat. Now, why do I say that? Well, for losing 43.4 pounds, I started off in a 1X women's, which depending upon where you buy those from, could be an 1820 from some stores, could be a 2024 from some stores, I think. Um, but it's 18 women's, 20 women's, um, that's what it is. So all of my work clothes are one X, which is that size, but all of my work clothes are stretchy and my work pants, even though they're not technically yoga pants, they're yoga ish, right? So they're black stretch pants that you pull on. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't grown out of those. Like, I'm not donating them to Goodwill or anything. They still fit. Mind you, they're a lot, they're a lot looser, but I don't have to wear a belt with them. So, you know, I, I have to say as far as like going down in women's sizes, it, I catch a glimpse of it here or there, but I haven't really had any like whams or like, look at this. So then yesterday I was getting ready for the game and I thought to myself, I want to wear jeans. Like when's the last time I worn jeans? So I opened up this drawer that doesn't get a lot of traffic in my dresser. And I was looking at this, these size 16 pair of jeans. And I thought, ah, eh, why don't I try them on again just to see where I am, see if they're a little looser. Do you know and these are 16 Missy size. They're not 16 women's size. They're 16 Missy size. And I put those on. And do you know what happened? They were loose. They were loose. I almost had to wear a belt with them. They were loose. I can tell you 
this was one happy girl. So I went from being angry, pissy to look at me. I'm wearing a pair of size 16 jeans, missy size. So I was very happy about that, I will say. So then I pulled out the smallest pair of pants I own right now, which is a size 16 capris. They are not women's, they're 16 missy, and they are not stretchy jean. They're regular denim, they don't have stretch, and I didn't have to lay back on my bed to zipper them up. I could button them up, I could zipper them up, and I was standing upright. And you girls know what I'm talking about, laying back on your bed to pull your jeans zipper up. You all know what I'm talking about. I could get them on, and I did not have to get in any kind of weird position to get them zippered up. Now, mind you, they're a little tight. They're a lot tight, actually. I mean, I wouldn't wear them with a shirt tucked in. They're, they're just tight. But I have them as my mini goal pants and I have them hanging on my door now. So I'm just going to keep trying those on. So back to my theory. When I get to the weight I want to be, no more stretch pants. If I buy stretch pants, they're going to be leggings and they're going to be tight. And I'm going to have a button on them and a zipper on them because stretch pants make you fat. All right, that's the end of my rant. But you know what I mean by that? All right, so I was really excited about that. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about is I found two articles this weekend because um, I belong to Obesity Help. I belong to some Facebook private groups. And for whatever reason, I don't know which group posted what, but there was a couple of articles that I saw this weekend on Flintstones multivitamins. And they are on my approved list from my program as a multivitamin that's okay for sleevers to take. And just so you know, um, on my program, we're supposed to take three calcium citrates, 1500 milligrams a day, one multivitamin that has iron in it, but that's complete. Um, and Flintstones is one of the approved ones. And so anyway, so I've been taking it. Well, this article said that Flintstones vitamins in essence are junky. They're not good. They don't have what you really need in them. And they were saying that Centrum completes are better. So, I hate my Centrum Completes. I bought them. They're chewables. And when I say the Flintstones, I'm not talking gummies. I'm talking chewables. They're the chalky ones. They come in like grape, strawberry, or grape, cherry, and orange. But nonetheless, they are, um, you know, they're little Fred Flintstone, Wilma Flintstone, whatever the shapes they are. They taste good, of course. I think they're children's vitamins too. But for an adult, one vitamin a day is supposed to give you all your nutrients. Well, these two articles said flat out that Flintstones completes were junk. And that Centrum completes, which is a much bigger pill, tastes awful. I'm not going to lie. Um, especially since I've had surgery. I started taking them before surgery. After surgery, they were... They, I they were really bad for me or I'm sorry they weren't bad I couldn't take them they just were disgusting to me but after reading this article I think that that's what I need to be taking so I just made a deal with myself that you know what I don't care how they taste if they're giving me what I need with vitamins then I need to choke them down and chew them up and they're pretty nasty but I'm doing that so anybody who watches this um Tell me what your thoughts are. Do you What do you take for your multivitamin? And what do you recommend? I'm going to get through the bottle of Centrum because I have them and um, I'm going to use them. But I don't think I would like to take them after the bottle's gone. I don't know. Maybe If they're good for me, I will. But what do you take for a multivitamin and do you like it? And are Flintstones junky vitamins? Let me know that. All right? Okay, everyone, I'm going to give you my tagline that I'm going to start saying now in every single one of my updates, and that is, have you done something good for yourself? Do something good for yourself today, all right? You deserve it. We're doing this together.
All right, everyone. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.